trip and worked in Palestinian refugee camps they are and not saw how displaced they were. Babies, kids. They are right, not know, intentionally they're, they're, doing They're that. blowing up entire residential buildings. I, I watched Al, Al Jazeera's, and they're not covering that on CNN. Well, I, I would be very careful showing, with Al Jazeera. I mean, that's funded I, I by a lot the, of these Middle East governments. Yeah, but I'd be very careful with okay, Al Jazeera. Okay, but I don't think they're faking pictures of families carrying their babies in, totally dead. Yeah, you know, they, it's a two-way street. Like Israel, Israel has been killing Palestinians for the, for the whole time Gaza has existed, and they've been contained Hamas, in a prison. Hamas, Israel put in an, uh, a warning, we're gonna go in this area, civilians leave. Hamas tells them not to leave. Hamas wants them to be human shields. That's their tactic, technique, and procedure. Who, how many other armed forces give give warnings to get out before they go? I think Israel is probably the only one in the world that does that. I don't condone the killing of any innocent civilians, and I don't condone what Hamas did in the kibbutzes, but Israel is doing the exact same thing with Benjamin Netanyahu, who is a radical right-wing crazy person, and I see hundreds of Palestinian families that are dead. And they have nowhere to go because they can't leave the Gaza because no one's opening their borders. Well, that's and they the have 300,000 ground troops. You bring up a good point, though. You bring up a really good point. Why aren't these Arab countries willing to absorb some because, of the Palestinian because, Arabs? They will not do it. Because, Palestine, will not do because it. all the Saudi Palestinians, will not do it. they were all displaced it. from their homes in 1948. I was there. I saw where people were living. Do it. None of the Arab countries will be able to accept refugees. You have my vote, but you don't now.